Recently, I had the opportunity to explore German Foreign Minister Joachim von Ribbentrop's castle. It is the site of an enduring mystery concerning the disappearance of six and a half tons of gold bullion, known as Ribbentrop's gold. Unfortunately, I didn't find any of the missing gold, but I have been able to unravel some of the mysteries surrounding its disappearance in the summer of 1945. Schloss Fuschel is a small castle standing at the western end of the Fuschelsee, a gorgeous alpine lake 20 miles or 30 kilometers from Salzburg in Austria. Originally constructed as a hunting lodge in 1450 for the Prince Archbishops of Salzburg, by the 1930s it was in the hands of a branch of the German Thiessen industrial dynasty. The owner, Gustav, Edler von Remitz was a monarchist and an Austrian fascist in opposition to the Nazis, and following the German takeover of Austria in 1938, von Remitz was arrested and sent to Dachau concentration camp, where he subsequently died. The castle was confiscated and was given to Hitler's foreign minister, Joachim von Ribbentrop, by Hitler's secretary, Martin Bormann, for use as Ribbentrop's summer residence. The castle's location was very important, only 30 kilometers from the Obersalzberg, where Hitler and other senior Nazis maintained their private homes, allowing Ribbentrop to be close to Hitler when he was in Berchtesgadener land, but also far enough away to satisfy Bormann's paranoia about his rivals living near the Führer. The castle was extensively improved, with a boathouse constructed on the lake, as well as a two-kilometre-long promenade and an SS guardhouse for Ribbentrop's RSD bodyguard unit. The castle was the venue for many important diplomatic meetings in the run-up to the war, including the visit of Count Ciano, Italy's foreign minister and Mussolini's son-in-law. By April 1945, it was clear that the war was lost. Ribbentrop had fallen somewhat from grace, but he was still powerful enough to begin preparations to save both himself and foreign office treasures. In April, Ribbentrop ordered that 15 tons of gold bullion, known as the Ribbentrop Gold Fund, be moved from Berlin to several locations to prevent its capture by the Soviets as they surrounded Berlin. Two tons were sent to Schleswig-Holstein near the Danish border, an area subsequently captured by the British. The gold was allegedly turned over to the British authorities, but information on this is rather hazy. Three tons went to the shores of Lake Constance in southern Germany. From this consignment, two-thirds of a ton was taken over the border to Bern in Switzerland. Four tons were sent to various German embassies. And most importantly for our story, six and a half tons went to Schloss Fuschel in Austria. Schloss Fuschel was captured by Troop C, 121st Squadron, U.S. 106th Cavalry Regiment, the reconnaissance element of the U.S. 3rd Infantry Division, on the 5th of May 1945, a day after Salzburg and Hitler's mountaintop home on the Obersalzberg had fallen to U.S. troops. The troop of the 121st Squadron had gone forward to Fuschel following reports that a U.S. unit had been attacked by SS troops in the vicinity. Ribbentrop's castle had been abandoned by the SS. The six and a half tons of gold that had been stored in vaults beneath the castle were missing. They had been removed before US forces arrived and hastily buried at two local villages, Hintersee and Bad Gastein. A large stash of gold coins and some gold bars were buried in three large metal line boxes, three feet or a metre, below the house of the former mayor of Bad Gastein and beneath a nearby house. This gold was located and turned over to the US occupation authorities on the 15th of June 1945. Soldiers of the 3rd Infantry Division's 15th Infantry Regiment and 121st Cavalry Squadron loaded it aboard trucks and drove it to Castle Klesheim, the 3rd Infantry Division's headquarters, where it was stored. The problem is, of the 6.5 tons of gold taken to Fuschel on Ribbentrop's order, only a fraction has been recovered. So how much is 6.5 tons of gold bullion worth today, in 2019? Well, an alarming amount. 
It's £260 million, or about $325 million. There has been some confusion about exactly which parts of the original 15 tonnes of Ribbentrop's gold have been accounted for. So what happened to it? Local stories persist of SS men dumping crates of gold in Lake Fusho. This is quite common across the entire Alpine region, and several lakes have become notorious as possible dumping grounds for Nazi treasure and documents and weapons. Some was buried, we know that, and perhaps remains in the nearby mountains still, in secret caches. We can also suppose, based on many other examples, that some of the recorded gold disappeared in American hands. The well-known case of the Hungarian gold train is a disturbing story. Just before the Americans reached the town of Bad Ischl in Austria, not too far from Schloss Fuschel, a train arrived from Budapest in Hungary, evacuated by the SS ahead of the advancing Soviets. It was loaded with crates of gold and other valuables taken from Hungarian Jews. The contents of the gold train were handed over to the US Counterintelligence Corps, the CIC, who made a careful inventory of the contents and then passed them over to officers of the US military government property control in Salzburg. At the time, the gold was valued at $3 million, today of course hundreds of millions, yet only $30,000 was handed back to Jewish organizations to be returned to original owners, the rest simply vanished. At the US 3rd Infantry Division headquarters at Castle Klesheim, near Salzburg, where some of the Castle Fuschel gold was taken in June 1945, a rather strange and unprofessional state of affairs was reported. The blasé way in which 3rd Infantry Division soldiers handled gold was illustrated by a June 1945 newspaper report. It was noted that the Provost Marshal, Major Roman E. Clem, used one of Ribbentrop's one kilo gold bars as a paperweight on his desk. Such a bar would be worth today £40,000, or $50,000. I can't give you a definite answer to what happened to the Castle Fuschel gold, but I can speculate based on what we know. Some was definitely recovered in June 1945, but U.S. records do not indicate its arrival at either the U.S. Foreign Exchange Depository in Frankfurt or the Federal Reserve Bank in Washington, D.C. The fact we know it was buried suggests that either it was recovered after the war by locals, and indeed gold coins kept turning up in the area for decades afterwards, or by some other parties such as former Ribbentrop staff or it was thrown into the lake, as many locals say, where it remains to this day. As for Ribbentrop, he went to ground in Hamburg after the war before being identified and captured and put on trial at Nuremberg. I've made a film about the hunt for Ribbentrop in Hamburg, so please check out the description box for a link. Today, Ribbentrop's castle is a hotel. I'll leave you with a tantalising story. In August 2015, a 16-year-old German girl was paddling in the Königsee, a famous lake near Hitler's home in the Obersalzberg, when she found a 500-gram gold bar on the lake bed with a value today of £20,000 or $25,000. And she got to keep it. So happy hunting! Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share, and also help support my channel at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.